Trouble for soon-to-be freshmen at the University of Tampa. An email hundreds of parents received says the demand for housing exceeds the university's capacity. Other off-campus options through the university are also full. Not what you want to hear when everybody's going back to school. Fox 13's Jennifer Holton reports for us tonight. Parents and students are now left wondering what they're going to do. Kara Haddon's daughter Marley applied to eight universities, but fell hard for the University of Tampa's campus. The palm trees, the river, the hammocks, everything about it. Even the housing. Students could live in the off-campus Barrymore Hotel downtown. Especially the worst case scenario, you live in a hotel. You know, no big deal. It's right across the river. But Haddon and many others are just learning worst case is much worse than that. We got an email saying that there was nothing available. Marley and many other students received this email, noting they've been automatically placed on a waiting list to receive a housing assignment, noting it is, quote, very unlikely she would be offered campus housing. Other options, like the Barrymore Hotel and the Henry Student Apartments, which opened this summer, are already at capacity. She immediately started crying, and she said, what are we going to do? My daughter is a mess right now. Diane Conley's daughter, Caitlin, is in the same boat. Both parents cite an email they received like this one. As long as you had your deposit in by May 1st with your housing application, you were guaranteed housing. So we did everything on our end. So, I mean, it's Tampa's, it's Tampa's turn to, to figure it out. A statement from the university's Eric Cardenas notes, UT does not guarantee on-campus housing for any students. When pressed about the December email hundreds received stating the guarantee of general housing, Cardenas said the university believes it was simply human error. UT's website shows room and board rates from as low as $4,800 per semester. Apartment hunting off campus shows an average of $1,300 a month, or at least $5,200 for the semester. And that's without a meal plan or paying for utilities. She has no transportation. She has no security. She has no meal plan. How is she going to get back and forth to class? Like... Uber every day, like it's it's just not realistic. And with these students already declining their other schools, they're out of options. She really loved Tampa. She loved the campus, so she's she's heartbroken, really. In Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. So in a phone call, the University of Tampa's Eric Cardenas said that more students committed to UT than they expected, so that is part of the problem.